a beat on the beat. I'm Andrew Gomez and welcome to JFD TV for Friday, April 26th. This week for our top story, news director Jonathan Brown has the announcement of Dolby 9's Teacher of the Year. Hey everybody, welcome to Dolby 9. We're here to award the new Teacher of the Year, so come on this way, let's go find it. I think it's his ability to build relationships with his students because you make them a fan of you first and then they're a fan of the subject. So I think it's ability to build relationships is his best quality. We've got a very important guest because every great new teacher of the year has a mom. So say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, Matt. All right, let's go. Let's go. Woo! Am I interrupting anything? I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. You're studying. And like every great new teacher of the year, he has everybody on task and learning. We want to congratulate Matt Sheffer as the Dobie 9 new teacher of the year. Give it up for Matt Sheffer. Congratulations, Matt. Congratulations. How does it feel knowing that you won the Teacher of the Year award? It's a, a great honor. It's unexpected. Um, you know, you work hard all year just to try to do a good job, and um, it's, it's an honor to be recognized in that way. Um, knowing that you can make a difference in a, uh, a student's life, and when you can make that connection with them, and that they're willing to learn from you, and they, um, it's just that bond that you form with them probably is the thing I enjoy the most. I would just like to say thank you. Um, you know, being a first year teacher, there's a lot of nervousness and uncertainty and I feel like I've had just a, an incredible support team with my um, content specialists and teachers and my administrators and that's uh, truly helped me to I feel adjust and to do, to do a good job this year, to try to do a good job. It's, it's made all the difference in my first year. It really is everything. He's, he's the real package. He builds uh, relationships with the kids. He's incredibly knowledgeable about his uh, subject, Algebra 1, Algebra 2. He's uh, just passionate. Um, at any time, he will teach. And, uh, I mean, he's been on the, on the windows before doing duty uh, during Mega Lunch, and he's teaching and drawing on those windows, teaching formulas. So just he's the, he's the whole package. All right, we ready? Sorry to interrupt. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Sticker, but we've got a famous person right here. Oh we've got our Teacher of the Year at Dobie oh, Nine. Yeah. How does it feel winning the Teacher of the Year award? Well, uh, it's a great honor. Um, I feel so thankful for, uh, I know everybody is excellent and uh, they deserve to be Teacher of the Year. It's just uh, thinking about me and uh, voting for me, it just feels uh, a great honor. And uh, I'm so appreciative for everybody. Uh, I love being here, working uh, with uh, all these excellent uh, teachers and uh, it's just a dream every day coming true for me coming here. You received honors like this in the past. What motivates you to continue to be a great teacher? I don't really think about honors and uh, that's not the motivation to be a good teacher. The, the goal is to help uh, the students succeed and uh, that's my only motivation really to give them a chance uh, to have a, a, a better future. Reporter Emerald Martinez got an inside look at Theater's Comedy Showcase.
With it being the end of the year, how do you feel knowing that this will be your last performance? Knowing that it's the last performance is kind of sad. It's a little stressful, but knowing that you're going to do it, you feel that you can do it well. Well, I've spent four years in Dolby Theater, kind of excited. Um, I'm really proud of how far the department has come since I've been here and I'm just ready for the next chapter. Theater has been my main extracurricular, um, but I feel like it's one of those things where I've put in my time and I'm ready to go on. I'm ready to move on with my life. Make sure to come out and support our Dolby Theater students reporting for JDTV. I'm Emerald Martinez. And now, here's sports. Hey guys, I'm Melanie Melendez and your Longhorn Sports Report starts now. Baseball recently celebrated senior night. Here's reporter Janelle Gonzalez with a closer look. Our Longhorns win against the South Houston Trojans, ending with a score of 10 to 0. Be sure to come out and support our boys today at 4 p.m. against Pasadena Memorial. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Janelle Gonzalez. That would do it for your Longhorn Sports Report. Now back to Angel in the studio. Thanks, Melody. And now, with reporter Jalen Hill, we get more information about prom tickets. Prom is slowly nearing. With that in mind, you should definitely get your prom ticket. For purchasing them, you need a credit card when you purchase them online, and that's about it. No, the ticket prices are a flat rate, 50 or 65 Seniors can purchase their tickets online in the Adobe Web Store or on Tuesday, April 30th, we're having a one day only cash sale during Mega Lunch in the front foyer. In order to go to prom, you must meet all requirements. Make sure you purchase the ticket before they all sell out. Reporting for JFD TV, I'm Jalen Hill. Here's reporter Mimi Lopez with more information about physicals. Uh, May 1st is athletic physicals. Anybody interested in athletics, anybody who wants to join ROTC, band, any extracurricular activity here at Doby uh, needs to get a physical and need to turn it in to us in order to participate in those activities. Uh, cost will be $20 if y'all come before May 1st. Uh, if y'all decide to bring the paperwork on May 1st, uh, you'll have to wait till one o'clock and it'll be $25 at the main gym. Physicals will take place. Uh, you will check in at the main gym 
and they will do all your blood pressure, height, weight, uh, vision in there, and you will come to the field house and do the actual uh, doctor visits here inside the training room in the field house. Papers from the physicals are located uh, from any coach or sponsor, uh, or you can come into the athletic training room and ask for myself or Miss Rue and, or Miss Mahan at the Adobe Nine Center, and uh, we should be able to supply that for you. There's also some in the front office as well. That'll be all for this week's show. To watch past episodes, make sure to stay tuned on YouTube and SchoolTube. And follow us on Twitter at JFD underscore TV for our latest updates. Enjoy your weekend and we'll see you back here next week. Ain't it strange when everything you wanted was nothing that you wanted in the end? Strange when everything you dreamt of was nothing that you dreamt of in the end.